How do you decide on when to use group frequency or when do you use group frequency or better still do you group or do you not group data that you have it's actually easy to do an ungrouped frequency distribution when you have some data but at what point in time would an ungrouped frequency distribution not work when do you use a grouped frequency distribution what kind of data would you have that would be unreasonable for you to summarize using an ungrouped frequency distribution so imagine you have this data set right and all you want to do is to summarize this data set right this data set is data that is obtained from 50 children in a nutritional clinic in Casina State. So these are the ages of the 50 children. Now, to summarize this in a frequency table is quite easy. Why is it easy? It's because the range of values are not much. If we look at it, the minimum value here, you guessed it right, is 1. Okay? So let's look which is the maximum value. The maximum value here to me looks like 5. Good. So the range of values is not much. You can start thinking of saying you want to group this what kind of grouping would you want to group here one to two and two is to three but because of the range of values is not much and how many unique values do we even have so we have just five unique values which is one two three four five this data can easily be represented into a simple frequency table and where we put all the unique values right after putting the unique values just bringing out the frequency will give us something as simple as this this is quite simple right so but let's look at another situation in this situation we have another data set but this second data set is ages of patients that are attending a private hospital in Gusau, Zamfara State, Nigeria. It's difficult to put this in an ungrouped frequency table because if we look at the values, our minimum value here is two, right? And then let's look at the maximum value. Our maximum value here from what I can see is 95, yeah, okay? So if our minimum value is two and our maximum value is 95, then we've got a lot of unique values here the number of unique values are 40 right so we have 40 unique values it's going to be difficult to put 40 unique values in a table because if we decide to summarize in a frequency table using ungrouped frequencies this is what we get it starts to get very unwieldy because we have to arrange all these unique values like this yeah and after arranging all these unique values we bring out their frequencies so this appears to even be more confusing than our initial table that we have and our tables are actually meant to summarize this is not summarizing anything so when you have a situation like this when the range is quite wide you can see 2 to 95 and this also has number of unique values being large then you cannot start thinking of using an ungrouped frequency table you have to use a grouped frequency table so let's consider the same data set this is the same data set right our minimum value here is 2 our maximum value is 95 right this is that same data set now we can just easily present this data in a table that looks like this where we group the ages into classes to make it more easy to understand so we can have a class of 0 to 19 this is 20 this is a, an interval of 20 from 0 to 19 then we have 20 to 39 and the rest can go like that so this is a grouped frequency distribution is way better than having it in an ungrouped format because that makes it even more confusing and more unwieldy it's not giving us any summary in that way this is the reason why you need to use grouped frequency all right instead of using the unique values in this situation we decide to use what we call classes so where the data is grouped into classes 0 to 19 20 to 39 okay so in summary when do you use a grouped frequency distribution you use the group frequency when the range of values is wide and then the number of unique values is large in this our case you can see we have large number of unique values now as a rule of thumb when you have greater than 20 unique values then it's not advisable you use an ungrouped frequency but when you have uh, unique values that are greater than 20 then you use it and then when you are putting up a grouped frequency table we expect that the number of classes should be in between 5 and 20 classes thank you very much for listening thank you for watching in our next video we're going to be showing you how to construct the classes in a group frequency distribution if if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to give us a like and subscribe for more content see you in the next video and until then peace